What now? Oh, what is it? I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. I won't tear your arms off. Sim, speak with Farron Sadri. He has something for you. Mm hmm. I think my father wanted to see you. Have you talked to him yet? That's a long story. I guess we kind of have to go way back to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She... was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I will be. Just... Give me a little time.
Ah, you are here. Good. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Scions of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. Um, it will be done, priest? my lord. Most Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. The tale of the Great Moth Priest Hunt. Not something I'd want to read. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Not at this rate, no.
Life here has many advantages. Don't you agree? The Dawn Guard have increased their operations and have been aggressively recruiting. We need to put a damper on their efforts and give those troublemakers something to worry about other than harassing our interests. You are to make a public show of murdering someone. Do it in the streets for all to see. The higher the profile, the better. Make it seem you are a member of the Dawn Guard, thus sowing confusion among the herd. Wear this armor and plant this note on the victim. You know, an important member of society. Someone attached to the Jarl's court. A merchant, a bard, a priest. Someone with stature. That will make them all the more upset to have one of their citizens slain, and under such flimsy pretense. Precisely. The people will put pressure on the Dawn Guard, who are apparently murdering their fellows without provocation. Their focus will be shifted from us, giving us one less nuisance to deal with. Good. I knew I was sending the right woman for the job.